In this video, I will show you how we can verify a given function is a solution for a homogeneous differential equation and then we find the particular solution for the given non-homogeneous differential equation with the method of variation of parameters. The given differential equation is x squared y double prime plus x y prime minus y equals 36 x to the 5 and we want to prove that these two function x and x to the negative 1 are the solutions for the corresponding equation homogeneous corresponding equation to this given equation so first we want to prove that these are the solutions of the corresponding homogeneous differential equation to this equation note that the corresponding homogeneous differential equation is this x squared y double prime plus x y prime minus y equals zero we set left side of the equation equal zero this is the homogeneous differential equation and we want to prove that these two functions are the solution of this differential equation we have to plug in each of these functions in this equation and it should make this equal 0. Let us solve it x. x squared times y double prime. We have to take derivative of this twice. The first derivative of x is 1 and second derivative of x is 0. So y double prime is 0 plus x times y prime. Derivative of x is 1 so x times 1 minus the y itself which is x so minus x 0 times x2 is 0 plus x minus x is 0 this shows that this function is a solution for this homogeneous differential equation now let's see is this a solution of this homogeneous differential equation or not? Again, we do the same process. x squared times second derivative of this function. First derivative of x to the negative 1 is negative 1 x to the negative 2. We bring the power down and we subtract the power by 1. So derivative of x to the negative 1 is this. But we need second derivative here. We want to find y double prime. The derivative of this is 2x to the negative 3. We bring negative 2 down, so 2x to the negative 3. So x squared times 2x to the negative 3 plus x times y prime. We want to calculate this. x times y prime. y prime is negative x to the negative 2. And finally, minus y. y is the original function, x to the negative. This equals 2x to the negative 1, and this is negative x to the negative 1. 2x to the negative 1 minus x to the negative 1 minus x to the negative 1 is 0. And so this shows that the other function, the y2, is also a solution for this homogeneous differential equation. Now that we have the solutions of the homogeneous differential equation. We can use the method of variation of parameters for finding the particular solution for this non-homogeneous differential equation. For finding the particular solution, we use this formula, negative y1 integral of y2 f of x over Ranskian of y1 and y2 dx plus y2 integral of y1 f of x over Ranskian of y1 and y2 dx. This is the formula that always we use for solving and finding the particular solution for these type of differential equations. But remember. It's very important. 
is common mistake between the students. When you want to use this formula for finding the particular solution, first in the equation you have to make the coefficient of y double prime equal one. And as you can see here, the coefficient of y double prime is not equal one. So first we have to make that coefficient equal one. To make the coefficient of y double prime equal one, we divide both sides of this equation by x two. If we divide both sides of this equation by x to the 2, we get to this equation. So we divide left side and right side, every term in the left side, every term in the right side by x to the 2. Then we have y double prime plus, if we divide this by x to the 2, x over x to the 2 is 1 over x, so plus 1 over x y prime minus 1 over x to y and if we divide this by x to the 2 this equals 36 x to the 3. Now we can use this formula for finding the particular solution and note that in this formula y1 and y2 are these two given function here so we have y1 and y2. f of x is this function don't make this mistake. This is not f of x. f of x is the function in the right side of the equation when the coefficient of y double prime is 1. It is very important. And the only thing that we have to find first is the run scan of the two functions y1 and y2, these two functions. But how do we find the run scan? What is run scan of two functions in general? Let me remind you. The run scan of two functions y1 and y2 equals to write the two function in the first row and the derivative of them in the second row and by finding this determinant you can find the run scan run scan is y1 times y prime 2 this is how we find determinant like this y1 times y prime 2 minus this times this y2 times y prime 1 so finding run scan is not hard at all. So let's first find the run scan of these two functions that here we have. Run scan of x and x to the negative 1 is, put x and x to the negative 1 here. Take derivative of x, 1, derivative of x to the negative 1, negative 1, x to the negative 2. If we multiply x by this, we have negative x to the negative 1. So that power of x is 1. If we add 1 to the power of negative 2, 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. Minus this, minus x to the negative 1. Minus x to the negative 1, minus x to the negative 1 is negative 2x to the negative 1. And this is the round scale. Now let's calculate these two integrals. The first integral is integral of y2, integral of y2 times f of x. Know that y2 is x to the negative 1 times by f of x, which is 36x to the 3 over the Ranskian, which is negative 2x to the negative 1 dx x to the negative 1 and x to the negative 1 cancel each other and 36 over negative 2 is negative 18 integral of x to the 3 dx integral of x to the 3 is x to the 4 over 4 so negative 18 times x to the 4 over 4 do not add c here when you calculate these integrals do not add the constant c Negative 18 cancels with 4, a 2 cancels, and negative 9x4 over 2 remains. This is the first integral. Let's find the other integral. Integral of y1. y1 is x 
times by 36 x to the 3 over Ranskian is x to the 3 times x is x to the 4 and if we bring this x to the negative 1 to the numerator we have x to the 1 in numerator and x times that x4 is x to the 5 so we have let's put negative 18 outside integral of x to the 5 dx integral of x to the 5 is x to the 6 over 6 so this equals negative 18 x to the 6 over 6 which if we cancel 6 with 18 we get negative 3 x to the 6 now we can find the particular solution the y particular equals negative y1 y1 is x so negative x times by the first integral which is negative 9 x to the 4 over 2 plus y2 y2 is x to the negative 1 times by the second integral which is negative 3 x to the 6 if you multiply x in the bracket we have negative 9x5 over 2 and if we multiply x to the negative 1 in this bracket we have minus 3x to the 5 if we do a common denominator here this equals 9x to the 5 over 2 minus 6x to the 5 over 2 which if we subtract we have 3x to the 5 over 2 so this is the particular solution of this differential equation i hope by watching this video you have learned how we can find the particular solution of a non-homogeneous second order differential equation with the method of variation parameters if you like this video, please subscribe in my channel and thank you for watching.